all right guys welcome back again to my youtube channel digi designs and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to create a simple car sales flyer design on photoshop so without wasting much of our time let's get to it so as usual as usual the first thing we're going to do is to create a canvas size and in this video we're going to be using 5 by 5 inches which could be 1005 by 1005 pixels that's the size we're using for this social media um sales flyer design then i'm going to prepare my background color this rectangle and i'm going to draw my my rectangle across the canvas and i'm going to give it a color of black let me take it to this shade of black that's this 050505 okay and i've downloaded my background i'm going to be using for this particular flyer so this is it i drag it in this is the background i'm going to be using so after dragging it in i'm going to fade this background i'm going to fade this particular image into the background so it can blend together with the existing black background we have so what i'm going to do now is i'll add the layer mask to this then using my gradient tool and i change this to black and white your home might be on this black and white so you could leave it like that but if it's not the black and white you have to change it to the black and white so then i i pull it from up to down the flow if you pull it from up to down the flow goes from there if you put it from down to up it goes the opposite way so i'm going to be using this particular flow so this is it then i can probably reduce the opacity a little bit and this is it after that i bring in my logo of the company then i reduce the size let me work with, let's work with this i reduce the size to this I drag it up and now for me to be able to centralize this logo i use my ctrl a it brings out this selection line then i can centralize it with this alignment option here okay this is it then i raise it up a little bit okay then the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring in my image and create the design i'm going to use for the bottom part of this so i can draw my rectangle across like this and maybe i give it a color i pick i can pick a color from this logo and here i pick this color maybe this is f3 cb43 let's use this one and i could increase this rectangle a little bit this is fine so i bring in this this background i want to just make this rectangle not to be empty so we could bring in this background to give the rectangle a little bit of feeling inside then i can create a clipping mask i clip this shape this background into my rectangle so it will be like to be something like this then you could increase the size it could be something like this then i will go to my blending option and i use multiply so by using multiply it gives you this kind of feeling and i can reduce the opacity so it won't be showing too much like that but it will be there but you can't really see it so this is it i use let me use the opacity of 30 and this is it the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my car because we are advertising for a car business the sales of cars so i'm going to bring the car I've downloaded it already this is it and i drag it inside so this is the car we're going to be using for it so i can reduce the size i can reduce the size a bit to look like something like this okay this is fine this is fine let me zoom out 
it's for you to see so after that we are going to centralize this guy in case of it's not in the center we we'll go the same we we'll use the same process ctrl a then we we'll centralize it then we're going to be writing our description and our contact details underneath the the car i draw my rectangle of a and i use a black color i could easily pick the color from the existing background we are using then you drag it down a little bit also centralize it with the same way we are doing then i write i put my text in the rectangle because Abuja Asaba. This is it. I'm going to be closing the gap in the text. Then I use the font. Let me use poppins. I'm using poppins for my font. I increase the size of the font. To give this place more space also we could, in, we could add more space into the text so this is fine this is okay then maybe the text will give it 13 or let's leave it at that 12 And also reduce the size of my rectangle so this is okay this is nice then why we centralize the rectangle we can also centralize our text with the same method ctrl a but to deselect we press ctrl d to deselect what we have done we could also centralize this text also with the rectangle so it maintains the same proportion by, by holding the control and clicking on this thumbnail of the rectangle. Once I hold my control and I click on my rectangle thumbnail, it shows me this selection icon. When I click on it, it brings out the selection around the rectangle. So I could just use this alignment also to align my text around my rectangle. Then I press control D to deselect what I have selected. And this is it. So you could just group this and name it states then we add our contact details so this is our imaginary contact details we're going to be using then I can use the font punk Then I use this black color. I could also increase the size a little bit. Let me use 14. Then I centralize it also. Although my version of Photoshop automatically gives me a line to show that it's at the center, but in case you're not using the higher version of Photoshop, you could just press your Ctrl A and do the needful. You centralize it with this. Then I bring in my phone icon it comes in the black color but if yours is not coming in this color you could come to this place in your blending option you could easily change the color overlay and you change it to black so this is it this is the you reduce it a little bit then I centralize it with this I can group this now and call it contact so we have been able to achieve the um, contact details and inserting our image and the flyer the next thing I'm going to do is to add a little bit of glue around the back of these cars so what I'm going to do is that since this is the layer of the car underneath the layer of the car I'm going to draw my circle like an ellipse shape like this then I give it a color of 
white or I can also drag it at the back of this rectangle yes so it will be at the back of the car and at the back of the rectangle now while I've given it the color of white I centralize it also I bring it down a bit then I add my layer marks to it once I add the layer marks to it I bring my gradient to and I use the same method to pull it down to pull it down a bit it gives it this kind of feeling then I could bring it down and reduce the opacity so it just gives it this kind of feeling to the design after doing that then I could just write my text on the body of the flyer let me give it a color of white right to come cars and this is it let me make here 15 then with my control C I could drag the text then I centralize it also control A and I centralize then I write my other text I use this one I'm going to be using this font I'm going to make it small I can also increase the spacing around it and I centralize it with my control T, I could reduce the size a little bit. And this is it. So now what I'm going to do is to give this text a little feel of gradient feel. I don't want it to be just plain white like that. Let me increase it a little bit. So I come to this place in my blending option I go to gradient over here I can just let's see if it's like this you could just give this place a little gray a feel of gray why the other place is a feel of white color so it won't be just pure white like that then it will give it a stroke of okay I'm going to make the stroke one pixel so it will be there but it won't be too visible and this is beautiful if I zoom it out you'll be able to see the gradient effect that was done on the text and it's coming out perfectly well like so this is just a very very simple way of creating a car flyer design you could use it for your adverts um online in various social media platform so guys thank you for watching this video please do well to like this video if you are a new subscriber please subscribe to this video subscribe to my channel share the video and i will see you guys on my next video thank you